most African popular African, African, African meal African. called ugali which is a maize meal and we'll show you all the ingredients you need is two ingredients water and the maize flour so you have to boil your water <coughs> and by the way guys happy new year today is 30 oh, oh <laughs> yes, the mini accidents <laughs> that's why you need to support this kind of videos to give me motivation to keep on vlogging so i had to like the fire from scratch again you're back <laughs> hey, we didn't see it coming yeah. <laughs> that's the mishaps of cooking and vlogging hey, i hope that water will be enough for us for our guests mm. yeah so you we'll have to wait for the water to boil to take like maybe 10 to 8 minutes to boil and then we'll be back shortly don't forget juicy comment spicy comment on the comment section below let me know if you eat maize meal in your country i know my black americans african americans brothers they have cornmeal but i don't know if cornmeal is same with maize meal let me know in the comment section below so the water is 8 minutes, the water is boiling, boiling. This is the flour we are going to use. Organic, we took it to the portion meal. So this is what you do. You put little flour by little. So that the reason to is so that the ugali should will not be cold. So I usually do a prayer. I pray for the other food and then I start. Uh, I need to add more. This water is minky. Just put all the flour, add small flour as you go until you feel like it's like a cake. And you keep stirring until you have a consistency, a solid consistency. And you should do this on high, high heat, high medium heat. stop and then let it boil again so you keep on doing stirring and stirring so you see you keep on stirring separating them though so it gets heated <laughs> keep on separating stirring like this, twisting, turning until you 
your gully. We don't like cold to gully. If you don't like cold to gully, and guys, there's a difference between Kisi gully, Giriyama gully, uh, Kikuyu gully, Ukamba gully. We are all different. Ours, we like it soft and really, really hot. Soft, hard, yes, that consistency. Not really soft, but not really hard. <laughs> so you keep on stirring, make it each side get heated. And you see my gali is already solid and it's almost mm. when you can do it all from the joiner So this one is not ready yet, so we are going to check our Oh, moto. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, hey. Do you pick up Gali at two twenty? Hey. Ah. 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 You need to separate it like this. You need to separate it like this. Eh? smart. You need to separate your gali like this. And keep on. If we know you be saying it, I look at your table. Not a job, a lack of me. Say bad. Separate it. That's why. Ugali is in uh, is Kiso, in Kiswahili we call this ugali. In English it's called maize meal, but correct me if I'm wrong. And in my language, Ekegusi Kisi, we call it obokima. Let me know what you call it in my language. Let me know what have been your experiences with the food in Kenya. Have you been to other African countries? Why you've had similar food? I love to hear from you. Write a juicy comment on the comment section. Like this. Mojo, <laughs> hey. So when you touch it, it's soft, but it's not sticky. So I leave it for like five minutes for it to to cook. So now it's done. Oh boy. So now Kali is done. It's called Obokuma. <laughs> And that's how we cook our vokuma. I'll show you what I eat, the stew I eat it with. Today I will accompany my ugali with cabbage meat stew. We normally live together, eat together, and we're just in unity. That's the African way we eat together at the same time during lunch, dinner. This cabbage. I bought it at the market so watch out for that video that is coming very very soon and this is we're going to eat our gali with cabbage that's our vegetable and meat beef stew if you want me to show you how to make beef stew Kenyan beef stew let me know in the comment section down below and yeah I love to serve everyone and yeah Thank you.
Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I'm expecting a thumbs up, thumbs up, and then I'll show you how to cook this. Okay. <laughs> forget thank you if you've watched this far and you're at the end of this video your k time and i hope you've subscribed by now watch more if you like this kind of video there are more on my playlist i've put a came to life on a farm playlist it's all village vlogs you can watch it they'll pop up on the screen subscribe and the best youtube recommended videos will be right on the screen i love you so much and happy 2022